trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. So if you are in preschool, you have one of these bags. So let's open it up and see what's inside. If you're in elementary school, you're going to have one of these bags. And you can also pull it out and see what's inside. There's a few things that are different, but a few things that are the same. So get your bags out, kids, and gently pull out each of the things inside. There's going to be a day one crafts. Don't open it yet. These ones are you only open during craft time. Then there's day two. Pull those out and set them gently, carefully down. Then, day three. You know what comes next? Day four. And lastly, day five. Okay, now that those are out, go back in your bag. And I want you to reach for your book. Elementary, your book's going to look like this. In preschool, you don't have a book, but you have separate five pages of coloring pages for Bible time. So this is for your Bible time. During each day, we're gonna have craft time, Bible time, kid vid, and craft instruction video, and music videos. So during the Bible time, I want you to get, if you're in preschool, get these sheets out, one for each day. And then during Bible time for elementary, kids, I want you to get this book out. And while I'm doing that, while I'm telling the Bible story, you can follow along. And preschool, you can just listen during that time. And then after the videos are over, you can do your coloring pages with your grown up and talk about the story we learned that day. So that's Bible time. Let's go back in our bags. I want you to find this button. 
So this is a button that says, trust Jesus. This is just something fun you can wear to remind you of our theme, that Jesus power pulls us through and we can always trust Jesus no matter what's going on. So that's a special button for you to have. Next, I want you to pull out this bracelet. It's called a Watch for God bracelet. And every day I want you to wear this, even after VBS, to look for things in the world that help remind you of what God is doing and how he's working in the world and how much he loves you. Just to watch in the world for God working. Next thing I want you to pull out of your bag is this little pack of cards. These are your Bible buddies. And on the back, it tells us the Bible point and the Bible verse. So for instance, day one is Jesus' power helps us do hard things. And the verse is, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. So these cards are little pop-outs. You pop them out and there's a little hole in each one. And on these, there comes a carabiner. You're gonna put that through the hole so you can attach this onto a backpack or a keychain or something to help you remember every day's Bible verse and Bible point. Last thing you'll have in common is this. It says, how can I get to heaven? And you wanna read this through with a grown-up at home and it has few pages like that and this is all about having a relationship with Jesus and if you want to fill this out at the back you can start getting lessons from the mailbox club which is fun Bible lessons for free that get delivered to your house and you can also have your grown-ups email me because I'd love to know if you made a decision to follow Jesus this week because he's so awesome and he, his word is true and he's the one who made us and loves us so I really encourage you to read this maybe near the end of the week with the grown-up in your house all right, preschoolers, let's go back to your bag because you have a few extra things. All right, preschool, you're going to have a game board that looks something like this. And this is just a fun game you can play uh, with people in your family. And on the back, it gives you instructions. It's just a fun way to spend some time with those at home. Then you have a little box car. This is just a fun thing to make also with a grown-up in your house. Maybe you can keep it on a dresser and store fun things in it. And then, preschoolers, there's also a, a little puzzle you can color and fill out and um, put together with the help of a grown-up in your house. You could even glue it onto cardboard to make it a little harder and cut it out. And then lastly, preschool, you're going to have a bag of stickers. You have five stickers of Jesus and one sticker each day of your Bible buddy. And these stickers go with your Bible pages. So every day, I'm going to walk closer. You're gonna glue one sticker of Jesus right here next to, his, next to the Bible verse, which is what God is saying. And then you're gonna pick that day's Bible buddy and glue it right here. Okay, that's for every day's Bible page. All right, kids. Well, that's about it. That's a guide to your bags. So you might want to just get some, to leave these things out and maybe put your crafts back in because every day you're only gonna open up that day's craft. So when it comes time for craft time, you're gonna open this up. And there's actually gonna be two crafts in here. One of them you're gonna do with the video, and the other one has a sticker on it that says extra activity and snack. And that's something to do after the videos are all over for the day. You might wanna do them with your friends in the backyard. Just a little something extra to do after the VBS videos are done. Okay, who wants to get singing? Let's go kids. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This
this train, this train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train Friends, glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you His power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Hey kids, so for Bible time, this is going to be the time where you get out this book. I'll explain it to you just today, but every day what you're going to do at Bible time is grab this book right away and turn to the story that I'm going to read. You'll notice the beginning of each story, there's an activity page. You're going to pause the video after I read the story and then work on this together with your brothers or sisters or your friends. Okay, so let's go check out today's Bible story. Saul. His name made most Christians shake and shiver in their sandals, and I quaked and quivered right along with them. Even though I lived a long way from Jerusalem, I had heard the scary stories. 
Saul hated Jesus' followers. He hunted down believers and sent them to jail. And if he didn't throw them in jail, he'd help toss them in the grave. Saul was one scary dude. And Jesus wanted me to go pay Saul a visit. But Lord, I prayed, I've heard so many stories about the terrible things he's done to believers like me. He arrests every Jesus follower he finds. Jesus' voice was clear. I have special plans for Saul. He's going to bring the good news to people everywhere. I learned the scoop on what had happened to Saul. He'd been on the road from Jerusalem, coming to arrest more believers in Damascus. But Jesus appeared to him in a bright light, and Saul went blind. Saul's friends had to lead him the rest of the way to Damascus, where he waited in darkness for three days. And now Jesus wanted me to go pray for Saul? Gulp. As frightened as I was, I knew I needed to trust Jesus no matter what. If Jesus asked me to give Saul his sight back, then I needed to do it, even if that meant Saul putting me in jail. I went to the house of a man named Judas, who lived on Straight Street. When I saw Saul, he looked nothing like the raging bully I'd imagined. He looked tired and hungry, after all. He hadn't eaten anything, had anything to eat or drink for three days. I gently put my hands on his head. Saul, my friend, Jesus sent me so you can see again and so you can be filled with God's Holy Spirit, I said. And just like that, something strange like scales fell off of Saul's eyes and he blinked in the bright light. I can see, he said. I could tell right away that he could see, not just with his eyes, but also with his heart. Saul wanted to be baptized and to have a snack. Three days is a long time to have an empty belly. Soon, Saul became one of Jesus' most faithful followers, helping people everywhere see the light of Jesus in a whole new way. Sometimes Jesus wants us to do things that are hard, like becoming friends with someone you don't like very much, or forgiving someone who hurt you, or stopping a bad habit. But if Jesus wants us to do something, he always gives us the power to do it. Jesus will be with us all the way, just like he was with me when I went to visit Saul for the first time. I was scared and unsure, but I had Jesus' power with me the whole time. Doing the right thing can seem hard sometimes. Maybe it's challenging to be patient with a younger brother or sister. Maybe it's hard for you to control yourself when it comes to watching screens too much or eating unhealthy food. But you know what? Jesus' power can give you the power to do those hard things. If you trust Jesus and ask him to help you, Jesus always will. Ananias There's a spirit I cannot contain There's a spirit I cannot contain The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave The same spirit I cannot contain
My name is Dominic, and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun and I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it and hi! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't going to pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this and I didn't failed and I failed and I failed finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said this isn't going to be like those last times I am going to pass it I said you know what Jesus Jesus can help me get through this I'm just going to pray to him today I am going to pass the test tomorrow and I did in the Bible in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 it says for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things.
Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to see what incredible things we'll discover about Jesus's power this week. We're gonna have so much fun together. But before we get started, I need to ask you something. Who brought their imagination today? I was worried you might forget your imagination since this is the first day of EBS. So I was talking to my friend, Ramsey. I think you met my friend Ramsey earlier, right? Well, Ramsey is a bighorn sheep, and he told me that him and his friends love living in the Rocky Mountains. The mountains are so beautiful, and the scenery is so spectacular. But Ramsey said that sometimes it's kind of hard to live in the mountains, especially in the winter when it snows. That's when Ramsey's sure-footed feet come in handy. Ramsey's feet help him do hard things, like walk on slippery, snowy mountains. Even when it snows, Ramsey knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! There! That's better! I think your imaginations are up and running now. And that's a good thing, because each day at Imagination Station, you'll get to be part of fun activities and experiments that help us discover more about Jesus' power. And you'll get to play with an awesome, sciencey fun gizmo every day. We'll get to our first activity in a minute. But first, I have another question for you. How long do you think it takes a baby bighorn sheep to be able to walk and climb as well as its mother? Does it take six weeks or one day? Think about that and decide on your answer. Okay, I need a loud drum roll before I reveal the answer. Make a drum roll with me. And the answer is, a baby bighorn can walk and climb as well as its mother within just one day. Imagine that. Let's get back on track. Grab some paper and a marker to make your own train tracks. Draw a train track from one end of the paper to the other. You can draw mountains and trees, streams if you want, and curve it through the Rocky Mountains. You can even add fun stickers if you have some. I'll give you a moment, have fun.
Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! You know, sometimes we all have to do hard things, and we may not understand why. We may not be able to control what's happening. Our lives seem to be going in all different directions. Let's see what that's like. This is my off-rail roller. Go ahead and grab your off-rail roller pieces and I'll lead you through how to put it together. To assemble your off-rail roller, first lay out all of the pieces. You should have two black circular pieces. One has a flat side, the other has a bump in the middle. You'll have two straws, a long straw and a short straw, a rubber band and a paper clip from home. The first step is to thread the rubber band through the paper clip. This paper clip is going to act as a needle. It should look like this. Take the black piece with the bump on the outside and using the paper clip, thread the rubber band through the hole. You should have the rubber band coming out one side and a paper clip coming out the other. Grab your large straw and pull it through the rubber band. Using the paper clip, pull until the straw is flat against the outside and stays in place. Then take the other black piece, the flat circle. Use the paper clip to thread again through the hole. Push the two black pieces together until they snap in the middle. Then pull the paper clip and the rubber band apart. Be sure to keep one finger in the rubber band so you can thread the short straw. When you're finished, it should look just like this, a long straw on the side with a bump and a short straw on the flat side. Now pick up your off-rail roller holding the short side in your hand, wind the long straw. Do it several times. The more you wind it, the longer it will go. And we're off the rails! Take a few minutes and experiment with your off-rail roller. You might want to try it on some different surfaces. You could even try to keep it on your paper track. After a few minutes, you'll hear the train whistle when it's time to come back. Have fun!
Take your off-wheel roller and put it inside a baggie. If you happen to have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's Bible point that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! All right, that's it for today. We'll see you back again next time at Imagination Station. I heard some commotion last night about a rock slide. That could be really bad. Maybe we can find someone here that could help us. Oh, maybe this guy knows. S excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, I don't just work on the trains, I drive the trains. Name's Cam Track, and I'm an engineer here. Hi, I'm Sarah. With a name like Cam Track, you must know a lot about trains. Yeah, well, when you love the trains like I do, they become part of you. Wow. That's pretty deep. But maybe you can help us. My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. You heard right. Last night, a bunch of huge boulders came tumbling down the mountain and landed right on the tracks. That's not good. No. And with the boulders where they are, the train can't move. We're stuck here. My crew and I were supposed to head down the mountain this morning, but we can't get out. Good thing I'm here to take care of it. You really think you're strong enough to lift a massive boulder? I don't think. I know. Okay, well, why don't you warm up with this rock right here? That little one right there? Easy, easy peasy. In fact, why don't you all take a step back just in case things go flying. All right, here we go. <laughs> one second. Oh. oh, it's useless. It's just too hard. It's funny you should mention that, Cam, because today we were learning that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. It could be taking a test at school or helping a sick family member, standing up to a bully, or even having to say bye to a friend and really going to miss them. What are you doing? We've already established I'm not that strong. None of us are strong on our own. But we have a friend who is. Jesus. Jesus is powerful in all ways. He can help us through anything, even the stuff that's hard for us on the inside. I know life can be hard sometimes, and it might feel really heavy, but Jesus is there to help us carry the load. Well, this Jesus guy sounds like a good person to have as a friend. Well, I should probably get back to my crew and figure out a way to fix this boulder problem. But uh, maybe Jesus can help me figure out the right idea on how to fix that, too. Yeah, and when my friends and I are done here, we can come help you. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.